friends, welcome back. Today I've got the May unpackaging of my Nadine West package, so stay tuned for that. If you're new around here, my name is Tiffany, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, consider hitting the subscribe button to be a part of the family. I would love to have you. Like I mentioned, today is Nadine West Day, and this is my May package. I think this is my sixth sixth one if I'm not mistaken and I'm super excited all I know is that there are seven items in here per the packing slip that I checked on the website so let's go ahead and take a look and see what they've got if you are unfamiliar with Nadine West it is a clothing subscription package or box I don't want to say box because it comes in an envelope that you get monthly or every two weeks the clothing prices are a bit more frugal compared to shipment boxes like stitch fix for example this fits into my lifestyle a bit better because of the price and because I'm very simple I don't need any sort of high-end fashion or super trendy items I love yoga pants and a t-shirt and Nadine West has really helped me to spice up my wardrobe just a bit. Plus they include accessories in every order so that's nice too because I was never really an accessories girl and now I'm getting quite the little haul of necklaces and bracelets to spice up my outfits. If you would like to try Nadine West, check out the link down below. Use code Nadine for free shipping. That means that you will get a package. They'll waive your shipping fee. If you try everything on and you hate it all, you send it all back and you are out nothing out of pocket. If you decide to keep anything, they will just charge you for the items you keep. You send the rest back. And then for future orders, your shipping fee actually goes towards any items that you keep. Hopefully that made sense. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm super excited to see what they sent. Last month was a hit out of the ballpark. They they won me over last month. Every single item I was a fan of. Let's see if they did it again. Very sticky. Super exciting. They always send an invoice that tells you the retail price of all items. And yes, I have seven items. I have two tops, one bottom, a dress, I haven't gotten a dress in a while. A necklace, a bracelet, and other sunglasses, which is awesome because I actually need sunglasses and I almost bought a pair the other day at TJ Maxx. Everything's always wrapped up in pink tissue paper and I'm always surprised at how much they can fit in these envelopes. This is the first time I've gotten two bundles. Let's start with this one. Ooh, I see navy polka dot. This is a top. Very cute. It does button up the front. It has zipper pockets, peekaboo. It does have the rolled cuff sleeve with the gold buttons there. I'm not usually a fan of gold, but I'm kind of liking how it looks on this shirt. So it is a little bit sheer. I will need to wear a tank top under that. So that is called Dot Zip Navy and it retails for $28.49. Next, I see yellow polka dots. So this is a polka dot package. And this, I think, is the dress. Yes, oh, how cute. Okay, the fabric is a bit wrinkly, which means it might have some high maintenance aspect to it, because I don't iron. I don't even own an iron, I'm not gonna lie. So this has the keyhole in the back. Very cute. Ruffle sleeves that are also very cute. Has an elastic waistline, I don't know if you can see that. And kind of a ruffled bottom. I hope this fits me well because this is darling and I need some more dresses for summer. Cross your fingers that this fits the way that it needs to. This dress is called Betty in Mustard and it retails for $29.99. My jewelry is in this little package as well, so let's go ahead and open these. They always come in these pink little bags, which are cute. This is a long chained necklace, very long actually, longer than most of what I get with a large tree pendant in silver and ruby. I like that tree, I like it, I'm digging it. Yes, yes, yes. This is called Tree Lights in Silver and it retails for $24.99 on that necklace. Next is a bracelet, while well, I'm getting this out, this is called Strands of Web in Silver and it retails for $9.99. Um, and it's just a set of like silver bangles and they are not connected once I remove this tag it is all just individual little bracelets I do like silver much more than gold so I think that's kind of cute Let's open up the second little package I'm surprised at how much they sent this is crazy thank you Nadine West all right oh what is this oh 
I was like, why is there a Halloween bag? It's not. It's an orange little bag with little grizzly bears on it. This is the sunglasses. So let's see what color these are. All right. It's kind of like a tortoise shell. You can see my ring light. Sorry. I'm not going to be able to get a good look at this. Gold along the side, tortoise shell, accents, ring light, eyeballs. <laughs> I'm excited for sunglasses, like I said. And those were assorted shades, retail for $16.99. Next, we've got the bottoms, and it looks like these are a pair of shorts. Um, I don't know if you can see, they have like a bow and an elastic waistline, which is nice. And they're very thin and kind of flowy. I've seen trendy people wear these. I'm not real trendy. My friend Stephanie over at This Lexington Life is, she dresses the cutest. And she recently started getting Nadine West as well. And she also does Stitch Fix, I think. But she always wears the cutest things. So, like, any fashion things that I know basically come from just observing her. Because I'm not a fashionista. I've said that and I will say it a million times over. So, these shorts, anyway, these are called Bow Tied and they retail for $22.19. So, hopefully, those fit. They do look a little sheer, so I'm slightly worried about that. And last but not least, we have another top. So, this is a floral, olive green floral. Oh, and it's one of the cold shoulder tees. I was just telling Stephanie on her most recent Nadine West shipment video. I'll link her down below if you want to check it out. She got a cold shoulder shirt, and I don't have any of these, and I was just telling her how I wanted one, so how ironic. But I do like this. Uh, florals are growing on me as long as it's the right, like, style of clothing. I got some floral leggings last month that I really liked. So I think this will look really nice. Those are my first impressions. Let's go try them on. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I would pour my love from a cloud above. So bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours Up, up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly Like a firefly I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I will paraglide across the sky. Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of our So sweet like a honeybee to buzz around a honey tree. Up, up in a painted cup, I ride in the sky like a firefly. A firefly. I believe to believe All right, so this is actually a few days later. I didn't get time to film the try on the same day, but I just did that and I do have some notes on each piece. Starting with the cold shoulder top, I love this. I have been wanting one of these tops for a while. I know they're pretty trendy right now and I thought this was super comfortable. I thought the cut and colors were both flattering and I, I love it. It's probably my favorite piece out of the entire shipment. The tree necklace, which I took off, but I really like that. I've actually worn that a few times since getting the shipment in. It's comfortable. I like the length where it hangs and it matches a lot of my pieces, so it just helps to dress up a lot of my plain t-shirts or some of my more floral tops, so that is definitely a keeper as well. The bangle bracelets, although they're simple, which is my style, and they were cute and pretty, they're very loose and so they kind of moved around a lot. I did not care for that. It was very distracting. So although I might wear it here and there with certain outfits to dress it up, it's not something I would choose or pick on a more frequent basis. The sunglasses. I told you I was very excited to get sunglasses because I needed a new pair. I did not know before putting them on that they were yellow tinted. So that is slightly distracting to me. I've never had a colored tint sunglass in the past. So that's new to me. I know they're probably popular, but it was kind of distracting when wearing them. And the bridge of the nose piece, they slide down my face a little bit, but I still think they're cute and trendy. I would wear them. I do think I will pick up another pair that could be used more frequently without the irritation of having to constantly push them back up or look through colored lens. The black shorts. 
I was hopeful for these. I thought these were going to be super cute with the little bow. Uh, to me, I think because I'm so short, these made me feel and look frumpy. I did not like them. I felt very self-conscious in them. They are comfy. I would be more likely to wear them around the house, but not something I would probably wear in public. So, sorry. The polka dot navel shirt. I love. So there are a few things that would make this even better. The cuffs on these, I actually had to unbutton the cuff, even though it's a rolled style. I had to unbutton it to even get my arms into these sleeves. And I don't have very big arms. Like, it just didn't, it wasn't going on. So I had to unbutton the cuffs, which was fine. Once I unbuttoned those, it was able to go on easily and I was able to like move my arms and stuff without it getting caught. Other than that, the cuffs were too tight. The shirt overall, I really, really like. The only other downfall is that when I raise my arms, because it's a little bit shorter, it does show some of my tummy. So I have to be very mindful of what I'm doing with my body when I wear this. So I wish it was slightly longer and that the arms were a little bit looser. But other than that, I really, really love this. And again, gold is not something that I typically like. So I surprised myself with how much I actually enjoy this shirt. The yellow polka dot dress. You know how hopeful I was. Um, this is so cute. Okay. I love it. Even on, I love it. The only thing that would make this better is if it were one size bigger. And I think it's because my chest is a little bit larger and so it stretches the material a little bit taut and doesn't give it a whole lot of room for movement. So it looks like, it looks a little bit too small on top, unfortunately. The fabric is a little bit see-through when I was wearing black undergarments, so that's something I have to be mindful about. But other than that, I love this dress. I just wish it was one size larger so that the top fit better. But the pattern, the style, the the fabric, everything is two thumbs up for me on this one. All right, friends, drop me a comment down below which pieces were your favorites, which ones you would ditch, and let me know if you are going to try Nadine West for yourself. Again, check out the referral link down below. You will get free shipping on your first Nadine West order. Stay tuned for next month when I get my next shipment. I'm always so excited to get these in and I love sharing them with you. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.